When we refer to white balance with a camera, it's helping the camera calibrate. After all, white light is an equal presence of all of the other color components. When this is shifted, things take on a color cast, which might not look correct in the photo. In this case here, you see a little bit of a problem with this image. If I go to the develop module here, let's just take a look at that regularly, and I could take a look at the white balance. There are several options here. So as shot is gonna do exactly what the camera saw. And that's fine, but it looks a touch blue. The auto method is Lightroom guessing, but that actually looks a little bit too brown for me for something that's supposed to be the ocean. You can go through different presets like daylight and cloudy and others that try to match it, and cloudy's looking pretty good. But similar to this, you can actually take the eyedropper and click on something that should be gray or white, and that could help skew it. What's gonna happen then is the temperature will change, cooling or warming the photo. And again, small changes are usually all that's necessary. Tint can help if there's a color cast. So you see there, there's a little greenish tint. We could remove that so the foam on the water goes back to a pure white. Remember, this is representative of the overall change, and I often recommend white balancing before you start to make changes to other areas. If the white balance is off, it can affect other things when you go to adjust things like shadows and highlights. Now, sometimes the computer and you might not know what to use. Here we have mixed lighting, light coming in from overhead, plus some available light in the room, and a strange greenish cast. So we could take a look at how it was shot, which is really off, and auto. And that's okay, but I still see this really skew here. If I move this, look at how it changes. Notice as we pull those histograms back, how the changes are happening. And as we get those closer in alignment, we start to get a better overall exposure. We can take that eyedropper and click on something that we think should be white, and that helps as well. But looking at the histogram here, you could see how we move that tint over and pulled those so they're more in alignment. They're not always gonna perfectly align, Maybe the subject matter is very different, but if you've got a good balance of tones, looking at the histogram and shifts or skews like that can help you identify when there's a problem. Then taking advantage of the eyedropper with little refinements to temperature and tint, you can usually get a properly balanced image pretty quickly.